Hello friends, this is Nina here. Today happens to be the 17th death anniversary of my late father, Mr. Narendra Singh. So, um, uh, I would like to pay a small tribute to my father. Uh, you know, besides being a wonderful parent, he had an amazing professional career. He was very young when his father died. So, he joined the railways at Lahore, uh, that, that is pre-partition. Subsequent to partition, he shifted to Baroda House, that is Northern Railway in India. And he was working as a, a railway bridge inspector. And you see, he had certain uh, uh, hobbies. First was he loved books and he loved reading. He had an amazing memory so he could memorize, you know, even pages in Encyclopedia Britannica. Then he had this passion of photography, which he combined with his professional career. So what he started doing is he had this, you know, Remington typewriter and he would type articles, whatever project he was doing in the railways, in the bridges, he would type that and uh, attach photographs to that and send it to the government of India for publication. But however, the government of India did not publish any article of his. So what he started doing is he started sending his articles to England. And to his amazement, his articles were published in the Railway Gazette uh, uh, London. And the letter of appreciation was sent from England to uh, the Indian government here, saying that you have an outstanding officer who is writing, uh, who is giving us such vast information. So what my father was really, uh, you know, his professional career was on calendar Hamilton bridges. He, he had a specialization on that. And these calendar Hamilton bridges were actually a war secret. The, uh, they, they were designed during the uh, World War II in Burma. And calendar Hamilton is the, uh, the inventor of these bridges. And these bridges are to serve emergency uh, you know, uh, situations. So uh, now my, my father, he applied that technique in the bridging, as he was progressing in his career, he applied that in India. And uh, he was awarded Vishish Seva Medal twice by the Government of India, Ministry of Railways. And these Vishish Seva Medals are given to those government officers who display outstanding service record. So in the first medal, the first was given in 1967. This is you can see this is my father's this and this is the medal which was given to him in 1967. Subsequently, again, there was a major damage. The bridge in Vijayawada, South India had been totally damaged by a cyclone and my father was called by the South in the, uh, Southern Railways to erect this bridge and he erected that in no time and so they say that he had displayed rare courage. Now in 1970 again he was awarded Vishish Seva medal and he is the only railway officer in the Indian Railways to be awarded Vishish Seva, Seva medal twice by the government of India. Now, you'll be surprised that uh, in 1970, there was Biafra war in Nigeria and the railway line and bridges had been damaged in Nigeria. So the government of Nigeria asked the Indian government to send a team of railway officers. And my father was selected. M-Tech engineers were rejected and my father because of his vast experience and uh, you know um, skill he was selected and that is how he was sent on deputation to Nigeria by the Ministry of Railways from here and he the deputation is generally for a period of two to three years but my father the Nigerian government was so impressed with him he served in Nigeria for 12 years 
and uh, there was one uh, very important since we are these days talking about coronavirus and all there was an epidemic in lake chard and my there was a um, hospital boat which had been brought from england my father was deputed to transport that hospital boat on railways from Kothat Kot to Lake Chad. It was a very challenging job. It was a huge boat which was beyond the length of a buki. But he transported that successfully and uh, he had a letter of appreciation being sent from England that you have helped the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the victims of this epidemic and there was a letter of gratitude. So there were many things that my father was uh, you know, uh, contributing to. He was a great human being and um, his uh, services were, of course, outstanding. Now, there was an incident in uh, Nigeria when my father was constructing a railway bridge in the jungles because you don't find bridges in nearby cities. They're generally in the deep uh, jungles. So, uh, he was there for almost two months and uh, there was a railway officer. He came and said, Sir, I think it is better you do go and visit your home, otherwise you might become uh, 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 wild sitting in the jungle here. So my father replied, I have been uh, in Delhi, in the heart of Delhi. I, I had a railway accommodation in Connaught Place transit camp for 15 years. That couldn't civilize me. I don't know how this is going to make me wild. So his only connection with the world was with the BBC and that is with their uh, radio. So that is how he was connected. But he was so learned, so well informed, he could talk on any topic, right from shoemaking. And not only, not only that, he, not, he was not only a great reader, a great, uh, with, a, with a great memory, but he would apply his knowledge. So, uh, and he is the one who encouraged me to do law. And I'm so grateful to him. He was a very practical man. He would say, please do professional courses. They help you in your life. And uh, thank you so much. And my brother has certainly inherited those traits. He's uh, also into inventing mics and speakers. And thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you.